Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today for Sporty's walkthrough of the flight simulators we have here at our airport. We believe it's very important to stay fluid in the simulation world, and in order to do that, I'm going to show you some of the machines we use to make sure we're able to test ourselves. We're going to start off with the Frasca RTD. This is the top of the line system we have here at Sporty's when it comes to training and simulation. A uh, great thing about the RTD is it comes installed with the uh, Nexus G1000 software. And what that means is as you are flying the plane, the G1000 will indicate exactly what it would in real life flying the said system. This piece currently has the push-pull throttle and mixture set up. But as you can see, we have modular options for levers, also for multi-engine. We can also set it up to fly complex or high-performance airplanes. The first time I ever did a takeoff engine failure was in this plane. Uh, we have an IOS, which is an instructor operating system, which means they're able to pull the gears or make changes behind the scenes. I did not know that emergency was coming to me, and it was a great applicable way to see how I'd react in this scenario and what I would do. That's the Frasco RTD. Next, we're going to move on to the XSpec 142, which is right over here. Now, the XPEC is great in the fact that it's got an enclosure which comes just beyond where the seat sits. And why I think that's important to mention is when you jump in this simulator, your peripherals are tricked to really think, oh, this is fake or this is real. Um, applying just typical instrument approaches or holds, I've really, you know, felt the tense of flying this simulator because um, you don't disconnect from whether it's real world or fake. Uh, this piece is also available with uh, single engine, multi-engine options. You can also uh, configure it for complex or high performance. And you can see the screen on the front and then the screens on your side, which again, contributes to the immersive experience you're going to get from the XPEC 142. I will say, this is a very squirrely bird. Uh, the first time I flew it, I was taken uh, aback when all of a sudden I looked away for a second or moved another scan. Before I knew it, I was in a 15 degree bank. And it was actually the first simulator I flew here at Sporties. And at first I thought, okay, these aren't accurate. But I think looking back on the fact, it taught me to keep my scan continuous and also try and stay on top of it and not let the plane get ahead of me. So good side, bad side when it came to the 142. Next, we're gonna move on to our Redbird TD. This is a great consumer piece right here. We sell this at sporties.com backslash simulators. You can see it is a lot of screen and currently configured with the G1000 setup. It also has the availability for steam gauges and you get that option when you are purchasing the piece. It is very similar to a Cessna 172 with the layout of the trim wheel, push pull throttle and mixture, flat lever, your switches, and the yoke you can see is almost identical. When you pair, the uh, Redbird TD with the alloy um, rudder pedals, it actually qualifies as a basic ATD. And what that means is you're able to use this to stay current when it comes to instrument, and it can supplement training for certain levels of certification. And lastly, we're gonna move on from the TD and head on over to what I like to call the Sporties Flight Simulator Testing Area. And this is where I get to change out a lot of the new products we are testing, or want to run through their paces, or even try out new products that we're considering for the catalog. We currently have the Logitech yoke and throttle set up. We've got the CH products, pedals, and a new product we're testing and considering is the Real Sim Gear uh, 430, I'm sorry, 530 and 430. And why we're really uh, mulling over the idea of pairing these are they are similar to what our RTD offers, where as you're flying along, these will give the exact um, readouts and performance that you would see in the real plane. So you can turn this on and for an hour get to test out how a 430 operates, uh, flying around or entering a direct two or loading an approach, rather than jumping in a plane, which will cost you, you know, quite a bit with an instructor to get that same hour of experience with the system. I kind of make it a rule of each piece can only stay up here for a month, partially because I like to make sure we test everything we have in stock 
and also it likes to keep me, uh, you know, up to speed on what we're using and making sure we're testing everything we should. So that concludes our walk down flight simulator row here at Sporties. We hope we're able to answer maybe some questions you have. And if you need any more advice or questions for me, please email me at flightsim at sporties.com. And we'd appreciate it if you swung on by and checked out some of our specials in lieu of Oshkosh this year. Thank you. Have a great day.